how good do you feel not having to worry about that thumb injury, or, or is it lingering at all uh, coming in this year? Uh, I feel 10 times better, you know. I uh, don't have to have it wrapped up, you know, 10,000 times around, you know, every single day like I did. Uh, not having to wear a brace and all that's helping, you know. And just having full versatility is, is key, so I think it's helped me a lot. How frustrating was that, trying to snap with that, that hand and play through it throughout the season last year? Uh, you know, it was, it was definitely difficult. Uh, one of the more difficult things I've had to do since I've been here. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just something that I had to do and I had to get it done, so I had to get through it. Like we were just talking to Casey about the Oklahoma cock drills that you guys call it. How, how much do you guys look forward to that to start a practice? Oh, uh, it's definitely a, a highlight of the day because, you know, we got guys, John, all day, you know, talking about, hey, I'll, I'll get you in a cock drill tomorrow. I'll get you in a cock drill tomorrow, you know. And and, uh, and guys end up, you know, they either get beat or win, and that's that's that, you know what I mean? That's where it, where it all boils down to. So, and, you know, it's just – Creates the tempo for the for the practice, you know. I mean, it just gets everybody going, gets everybody riled up for practice, which I think is a good thing. Who do you usually go up against? Uh, right now, I've been going against Yurik and Colby. Your success rate? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, fairly well, fairly well. I'd, I'd probably say, but uh, but you know, uh, definitely definitely tough guys in there. We realize we have to ask them now how they ask. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, you can ask them. That's fine. Yeah. Is the key to that just? I'm honest. <laughs> just do whatever you can to make sure that running back gets past him, or. Uh, yeah, you know, just do anything you can to get him, get your hands inside and lift him and get him up out of the hole. As long as you can get him up out of the hole, you'll be all right. Alan, how's the rotation on the line going? Will's made it clear that, you know, maybe no one spot is set and they want the best five out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely moving guys around. Uh, a lot of guys that are just, you know, a little rusty on some of the plays, you know, just moving them around so they can learn every position and uh, be ready to get stuck in there at any point. Do all of you guys rep at every spot? Uh, yeah, for the most part, most guys, most guys know if – if you don't know the position, then you're going to rep it. You know, if you do know it, then you know you'll kind of stick in one spot. But uh, you know, that's just how that goes. Are, are you pretty much a guy that they want to be able to count on at center? Is that where you've been going the most? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's all my reps have been at center this this camp. Who's your top backup? Do you expect to be under center more? Do you expect Jake to be under center more this year? Y'all work on that. Um, you know, I don't know. That's something that Coach Roper, you had to ask Coach Roper. Uh, you know, we're, we're playing around with it a lot. Um, just kind of see how it goes, I guess. What does it do for you? What does it allow you to do being under center as opposed to in the shotgun? Um, I guess it, it helps with, you know, play action passes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when you're under center, it's it's almost, you know, defenses are looking at I, If I was on defense, I'd be looking at it as, okay, he's going to hand this ball off. A lot of times those are either short throws or he's handing the ball off. So as a defense, that's what I would be looking at. But uh, as far as us, I think it, it helps us in that aspect. As far as getting the defense of, of backs to bite or the play actions and stuff like that. So I think it could help us in the long run. You and Jake are both comfortable with it. You feel like you got a good record. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're real comfortable with it. Alan, how would you describe your career so far? Um, not too sure. Uh, I, I would describe it as uh, it's been a long road. Um, you know, going into this last year, just my key is just staying focused and staying healthy. That's my biggest thing. How easy is it to try to stay healthy when you're out here in the middle of a uh, You know, it's the trenches, so it's it's the it's the hardest place to play on the field, in my opinion. Um, you know what I mean? Because uh, you're getting banged up every play, so you got to definitely take care of your body. You know, after every practice, get in the cold tub, go to rehab, go see Clint. You know, guys like that, and get things done. So. What's been the most beat up you've ever felt after a game here? Um, if it was a one time that stood out. Probably not a one time that stood out, honestly. Uh, I, probably that Georgia game we won my sophomore year, uh, first year starting. That was probably, I was probably the most beat up after that game. But it was definitely one of the more fun ones I've played. Being in. a Georgia guy, how much one did that mean to you? Oh, it means everything. That game, that game's definitely highlighted on my roster already. How much more physical is that out there?